we're picking up a bill today. You're starting to. We'll do it a little bit this morning while it's uh, semi cool. And uh, yeah, we just gotta get the bill clear because it's trying to grow back. I want to get it off. Still got the other one to bail. We'll do that later this week. It's still got, it's still pretty green underneath. We'll roll it probably. We'll probably break it on Wednesday, I think. And let it sit again until maybe Friday afternoon. We'll probably take Friday afternoon off of work, maybe. And uh, they got chances of rain and cooler temperatures coming in on uh, on Saturday, I think. Friday night, Saturday morning. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna get this picked up. Our next thing to do would be to rake the other field and then bell it. Oh, probably nipped those a little bit too far. Yep, let me take that back off and restab it. There we go. That's probably better right there. Yep, better. But without having my accelerator, I have to keep the throttle, hand throttle on, and uh, so yeah, I was gonna get the accelerator cable fixed too. That works better when I'm raking, when I'm moving hay, loading hay. But it is, we'll get it done. So we got the 51 bales here. For sure, three of them I'm gonna keep for myself. There's one small one. I think it's a four foot, four by four. One that's got bust net wrap on it, and one that I ejected before it wrapped. So, hey, we'll feed those to our, cat, our animals. I'm not worried about it. I'm setting some hay over here for now. And yeah, this, you know, hopefully this stuff will sell quick. I think it will, because there are a lot of people in drought already again. Or, I mean, oh, oh yeah, it's drought, I guess. No hay, no. No uh, grass, nothing like that. Even around us, there's people that are overgrazed on their land already. And of course, there's people who want to stock up for the winter. As they know this winter could be uh, something. All right? You always got to have hay for the winter. So this sorghum Sudan is perfect hay for cattle, sheep, and goats. Not for horses, though. I know people feed it, but I'm not going to say to do that. Anyway, yeah. Just get the field clear and move to the next one, get it done, and wait 30 days or so. We should be getting close to cutting again. So. It's, it's trying to grow right now. You get this off so I don't have to run over it no more. And, uh, but the plants are really starting to come up again. So. Pretty morning out. I know it's gonna be hot today, but it was not too bad early. It's getting there now, though. I'm starting to feel it. A lot of moisture in the air, a lot of humidity. So uh, I went and checked over in the other field, and everything's just drenched. You know, it'll be dry here in a couple of hours, but underneath it's still green. So I said we'll probably break. I'm thinking Wednesday. The humidity levels are about to go down, you know, and uh, so we can rake Wednesday and we can start belling Thursday afternoon probably and finish it Friday afternoon. We'll see.